Hi, I'm the Tabletop Teacher. Okay, so I couldn't resist. One of the game shops I go to every once in a while had an amazing price on Deadpool and X-Force bricks, and there were a few figures I really wanted that I didn't get in my case, so here we are. The one figure I really want, apart from any chase or the ultra chase of course, is Swarm. He's a super rare, so chances are somewhat slim to pull him. So here's what we'll do, because I do have to make more rules videos as well, I'll only open two boosters in this video, see if I pull Swarm or something amazing and talk about each booster's noob. What's a noob? I just made that up, it's what I call a new player friendly figure. These figures sometimes don't get a lot of attention, but they can be a lot of fun to play. So let's see what we got. Booster number one, we have a mercenary, a ninja, koi boy, angel dust and marrow. I find that playing with very low cost figures is something that becomes comfortable after you have quite a few games under the belt. You don't want a gazillion figures to manage, so that's why I won't consider koi boy, the ninja or the mercenary as noobs. It's a bit of a toss between Angel Dust and Marrow, but Angel Dust does start with Charge and Invulnerability, which I consider to be in the top 5 powers for introducing new players to the game. Angel Dust was duking it out against Colossus in the Deadpool movie. You know what? She is not half bad. She can charge, pick up an object on the way thanks to super strength, and has a very decent chance of hitting with her attack value of 11. If she does hit with that attack, she will deal 5 clicks of damage, that's a lot for a 60 point character. She'll be able to take some punishment thanks to her invulnerability, so it's unlikely you'll lose her with a single attack. Her special power is pretty straightforward, she still has super strength and she increases her attack value by the number of tokens the target has. Now let's say Angel Dust is on click number 4 and charges Colossus who has 2 tokens and started at 80 points on his blue starting line. She picks up a huge rock on the way. Since Colossus has 2 tokens, she has a 12 attack, needs 5 or more, and succeeds. Let's say Colossus misses his impervious roll and takes in 3 damage of the total 5 Angel Dust just dished out. Solid. In booster number 2 we find a rare Deadpool, Anarchist, Solo, a Rogue Scientist and Massacre. And the Noob award goes to Massacre. He has charge across the dial combined with flurry and a special power on the first 3 clicks which is a great combo. Move, attack, attack again with an attack value of 10, at least one of those attacks should land. Along with precision strike on the first two clicks, so even characters with damage reducers or super senses will have trouble against Masakure. I doubt support on the first click will be of much interest to newer players, but no matter. Blades Claws Fangs on the last three clicks is a sure thing. When you have only two printed damage, choosing Blades is a no brainer. And he has combat reflexes on those clicks as well, a very good close combat piece. At only 50 points, not a bad investment at all. Well, that's it for now. Be sure to watch the other videos of this series and let me know what you think of my choice of noop. Share your insight. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the Tabletop Teacher, and thanks for unboxing with me.